A very good morning and warm welcome to the Ma Television Collective News. This is Rusty Khatki. Moving on to the headlines. Mirjaya Municipality of Siraha declares lockdown. One dies while undergoing corona treatment in Patan. Highest infection among age group 21 to 30, Ministry of Health and Population. Federal Parliament spokesperson test positive for coronavirus. Husband attacks wife and daughter with turpentine oil. 16 armed police confirm coronavirus positive in single day in Ilam. Kathmandu to go lockdown for 15 days from Sunday. Commercial and business areas in Kathmandu to be sealed from tonight at 12. No more on arrival visa to foreigners even in Toyota in 98% lost due to Corona. Here we go for news in detail. A lockdown has been declared in Mirchaya municipality of Siraha to prevent further risks of coronavirus infection. The lockdown has been declared from today till Shravan 12 after the infection was confirmed in three people of ward number 6 of the municipality. Mayor Shravan Yadav informed that the emergency meeting held in the municipality decided to place a lockdown for 10 days. The municipality has urged the city dwellers to follow lockdown regulations by staying at home. Meanwhile, a couple from Rasbiraz Municipality 8 has managed to overcome the infection within 16 days of the corona infection being confirmed. Pramod Yadav, 37, and his wife Binda, 32, have won the infection. The couple was in regular contact with health workers. A 45-year-old man has died while undergoing treatment at Patton Hospital. According to Star Hospital, the infected man died while undergoing treatment last night. According to hospital sources, the man had high blood pressure, diabetes and heart disease. The number of corona infections in the age group of 21 to 30 years is higher in the country than other age groups. According to the Ministry of Health and Population, the number of corona infections in the age group of 21 to 30 years has increased by about 1,000 in just 10 days. According to figures released by the ministry through a daily press briefing on Thursday, the number of corona infected between the ages of 21 and 30 in the country has reached 8,113. The figure was 7,851 as of Shravan 20, which is the highest number of infections compared to any other age group. According to statistics, 262 more corona in this age group have been infected in just two days. This number was 7,608 on 18 Shravan, 7,419 on 16 Shravan, and 10 days ago on 12 Shravan it was 7,030. Earlier, the number of corona infected in this age group was 6,491 on Shravan 1st. So far, 5,190 people have been infected with corona in the age group of 31 to 40 years. Zone Secretary and the spokesperson of the Federal Parliament, Secretary Dr. Rosnath Pandey, has been confirmed to have corona infection. Pandey, who is part of the parliamentary monitoring team formed by the Public Accounts Committee, received a positive report this morning. Spokesperson Pandey said that he had given swabs for testing after suffering from headache, fever and diarrhea from Saturday to Monday. During a domestic dispute in Chabal Chutipati of the capital, the husband has attacked his wife and daughter with turpentine old thinner. He was injured after hitting his own head and has been taken to hospital for treatment. According to Kathmandu Police Chief Sham Gyawali, the injured wife and daughter are undergoing treatment in Tilganga and their condition is normal. On Thursday, 16 armed policemen were found infected with coronavirus. Of the 42 armed police personnel whose swaps were collected on July 3rd, 16 have received positive reports. Corona infection has been seen in the armed forces working in the Armed Police Force No. 1 Battalion. On July 3rd, the swaps of 42 armed men and 68 others were collected and sent. So far, a total of 46 armed police have been confirmed with coronavirus in the battalion, said Bimal Baral, Corona Focal Person of the Health Office Elam. According to him, two Nepal Army and one police have also confirmed corona in the district so far. While the number of corona infected in Elam has reached 76, Similarly, 154 swabs were collected and sent from Rong village municipality of Ilam on the 15th and all the reports were negative. The reports of the people's representatives, employees and locals living in the quarantine have been negative. According to Corona Focal Person Baral, he also urged the public to be calm as corona has not been spread in the community in Ilam. 
A meeting of the Chief District Officers, CDOs of all three districts of the Kathmandu Valley has decided to suspend non-essential services from the District Administration Office for 15 days, saying that the corona infection has increased. It has been decided to close services other than peace and security essential services for 15 days, said Kathmandu Chief District Officer Janak Raz Dahal. The meeting has decided that the head of the other offices will decide what to do in their offices. Apart from providing essential services, the same criteria should be applied to offices and crowded offices, he said. It has been decided that the head of the office will decide for this, said Dahal. The meeting also decided to take stern action against those who do not use masks and sanitizers and do not take safety precautions and to strictly adhere to enforce system applied to vehicles. Kathmandu District Administration Office is planning to seal the main business centers of Kathmandu, including New Road, Osan, Indrachok and Teku, due to the surge in coronavirus cases. According to the sources, these areas are going to be sealed from 12 midnight today. A meeting of the CDOs of the valley had decided to close all governmental services except emergency for 15 days. Kathmandu CDO Janak Raz Dahal said that the areas around where the infection has been seen are to be sealed. He said that they were waiting for the information from the health ministry. Though the government will open flights from August 1st, it will not issue an arrival visa to forest tourists to facilitate their arrival at Triva International Airport. Secretary at the Ministry of Culture, Tourism and Civil Aviation, Kedar Bahadur Adhikari, said that the decision was not taken to issue on arrival visa after discussion with stakeholders at the Ministry of Tourism on July 8. Even though the issue of opening the flight has been taken positively, the on arrival visa issued from the airport will be stopped. He said with 10 days left for the airlines to open international flights, the government has not yet clarified whether tourists will come and adopt the necessary safety measures. The government has not taken the necessary decisions which has confused the tourists and the adoption of security measures. Secretary Adhikari said that necessary discussions have been held with the Ministry of Health on the issue of health standards. The ministry said it would issue the criteria by Sunday, taking into account the number of foreign tourists arriving. According to him, even though the option of postponing the flight time has been discussed, in the case of COVID's infection, no decision has been taken. The Immigration Department currently does not issue on-arrival visas to citizens of Nigeria, Ghana, Zimbabwe, Swaziland, Cameroon, Somalia, Liberia, Ethiopia, Iraq, Palestine, Afghanistan and Syria. Apart from it, the department has informed that the government has stopped issuing on-arrival visa to refugees without travel documents from any country. According to Nepal Electricity Authority Information Officer Leela Kumari Aryal, power will be cut off at various places in the capital on Friday and Saturday to pull new feeders in the 11 kV line distributed from the Teku Chakrapath feeder of Puljuk Distribution Center. The NEA has said that power will be cut in Bagdul area under the feeder from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Friday and Saturday, including Sanipal, Chakrapath, Food Warehouse and Chinese Cape area. NEA has stated that electricity will be restored if the work is completed ahead of time. The lockdown imposed to prevent the corona epidemic has had a profound effect on the automobile company's financial position. Toyota Motor Corporation's global sales are said to have halved during the epidemic. According to Reuters, Toyota's profit fell 98% in the first quarter. This is the company's worst performance since 2011. Toyota's balance sheet data illustrates the deteriorating state of the automobile sector around the world. This is all for now. We'll be back with more news and updates. Till then, keep watching Dhamma Television. May all the sentient beings be at peace. Stay safe.